ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. This blue face and Krishan situation is a mess. It is a mess. So I was busy, um, you know, living my life last week. So I wasn't on the internet, but I did see where she went online and she had her baby on live. She had, I think they said it was like 30,000 people. It might have been more than that. I don't know. But I know it was a lot of people who watched her have a baby on live. And I think for me, I had mixed feelings about that. I just feel like at this point, nothing is sacred. Nothing is sacred. You know, just like... I just felt like it was just so intimate. That should have been something between her and her family. You know, it was just, it was a lot just watching that. You know, the baby coming out. It was 100,000. Okay, I know it was a lot of people. I think one of the screenshots I saw was 30. So, yeah, over 100,000. Somebody says 400,000. I know it was a lot of people that tuned in. And I just felt like, you know, this is such a private moment. This girl went through so much through her pregnancy. And, you know, everybody's just very, very voyeuristic. But um, she had the baby on live, and since this baby has been born, she's had absolutely no peace. I think she was up the next day. I mean, when for y'all who's never had kids, when you have a baby, you're supposed to chill for six weeks. You're still bleeding. She's literally up the next day talking about snapping back, going into the gym. It's like, ma'am, you still have afterbirth. You, like, just sit down. You're still bleeding. Like, what are you doing? Lay down with your, it hasn't even been 24 hours. I just, I don't get it. Like y'all, y'all new, new moms are different. Just sit down, rest. You just pushed a human being out your cooch. She's already up and oh, snap back. I just, I hate the whole snap back culture. Snap back with a big ass pad on. Girl, sit down, sit down, just chill. Enjoy your baby. And people were encouraging the foolishness. Oh, she'll be back in less than two weeks. Go breastfeed. Just, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, I'm not saying you, you can't, you know, get out the bed and, you know, run to the bathroom and make a bottle. But it's just like everything is for the gram. It's just like, damn, just chill. You just gave birth. Not even 24 hours. So... Since she's given birth, her and Blueface have been going back and forth. Let me, okay, let me show y'all this. Hold on. This is a little bit of the birth here. Let me share my screen. I'm going to just be showing y'all just different clips. Push hard. You got it, Shawnee. You got it, Shawnee. Push baby, get him out there. He out, get out. He out. Thank you, Jesus. He out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh man, I don't know. That's just a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um. I'm just glad she had a healthy birth, you know, but it was just a lot. I just felt like that was just way, way, it, I don't know. And then the chains on her neck, the makeup, I guess. When I had my last child all those moons ago, I literally had French braids to the back, no makeup, and a hospital gown. I did wear jewelry. I said, these new moms are hitting different. She had like 50 chains on, but what the hell is this? You're pushing, just just bling everywhere. Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Um, so then the baby daddy, Blueface, he won't shut the fuck up. Him, Jade and Alexis, they all have us in this group chat. So Blueface has been going off on her left and right. 
He said that she smoked up until she gave birth. He's threatening to take the baby. So let me, we're going to read some of this stuff. Y'all get y'all's tiny violins ready. We're going to read some of this nonsense that Blueface is talking about here. So Blue says, Bia smoked a blunt on the way to the hospital. Bitch was trying to do a concert smoking before labor. You smoked your way to birth. You don't think I can get the kid for real. I have no intentions to take the baby, but if you are not showing the right signs, I will do what's best. He's exhausting. You've been warned, take care of our son correctly or Jaden will simple. We drug test that baby. If we drug test that baby, he could be mine tonight. I'm really being nice because I want you to be better. Everyone seems to think the baby's making you better, but all I see is you running with clout, tighten up and focus on your son. Oh man. Somebody else says drug test the baby. He retweeted that person. Then he says Bia smoked a blunt on the way to the hospital. I read that. Then he says, when my son turns 10 and I explain to him why his name is Krishan Jr. Like, yes, yeah, son, my bad. I had a baby with a clout chaser. So she gave you her name for more bookings. My bad. I don't want my son to add to my sauce or clout. I want him to be taken care of. That's it. Then he retweeted Jaden Alexis. Irreplaceable moments. I couldn't care less about none of the BS but you always show for them. So this was Blue when he was young with the little boy and then Blue recently with the daughter that he had about two years ago. Then he says, what's the baby's booking rate? I'll pay it, but he gotta come meet his family. Then he says, since she don't wanna let me see my son come out, I guess I gotta book cuz for a show. Grown ass man explaining to people why his junior it, why he's a junior to his mom, shake my head. He gonna be like, dad, are you serious? Everyone is making fun of me at school because my mom wanted clout 10 years ago. Shake my head, yes, yeah, son. I think she regrets not inviting me and she spent a couple of them lonely nights with the newborn and realized she messed up. Rock beefing with my kids now, shake my head. Going after my kids, shake my head. What they gotta do with it. Baby got an Instagram with a booking email in the bio at two days old. He taking bookings already. This lady had a baby for clout. Damn shame. So she then gets very emotional. So we're going to watch this. This is just very disturbing. Oh, man. Let me refresh this here. <clears throat> Can't get it together. Make it make sense. Talking about taking my kid. I should follow custody for your kids, bitch. Because Junior still need his brothers and sisters. But y'all ain't fit for parents. Talking about I ain't fit. Bitch, y'all ain't fit. Y'all got strippers in front of your son. Your son is hungry in the fucking pantry. You got strippers telling him, go look at these big booty bitches. And she okay with it? Oh, my God. And you talking about taking custody of your mouth. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, try to make it seem like I'm the bitter baby mother. Like, oh, yeah, she didn't want me no part of it. What? I was blowing your phone up. All right, I'm gonna play this one. This made me sad. Oh my God. Hold on, come back on the screen here. This is just sad. She has a baby with her here. He trying to run with for some coat. Then he trying to like, okay, cool. Put on a bitch that he should have been put on. Stop trying to make it seem like and force something that you know that's not true. She's just scared. She's she don't gotta mind her own. Me, I gotta mind my own, and I got a big heart, so I allow motherfuckers to manipulate me, 
Not for long, though. I let motherfuckers walk over me, but not for long, though. I let niggas drag me, but not for long. <laughs> you get me? That bitch was, I don't know, she just can't think for herself, and that's her. Like, So don't try to mix me up with your bullshit because you're like, okay, I can make any star. Blue, nobody said you didn't have nothing to do with this come up, okay? But whatever's inside you, like, if you want to go, like, if I have this ambition to go here and go there and make it here and make it there, regardless, the Lord was going to use whoever. So he took that as, I'm taking, I'm taking his uh, credit. Hey, baby, I'm sorry. Your, your baby father is just, your baby father got me messed up. Then it's crazy because I'm like, yo, I ain't going to hold you, but Mr. Jr. need this father. But then, like, I be watching shit. I don't think he needs you for real, y'all. Your kids is... This is making me sad. They, they that baby is crying. The Lord first. That's, let's start there. Your kids don't know the Lord. They know how to um, post up with their victim and camera don't get their tongues out. And then you like to, like, play with your son for clout. Don't ever ask my son, is he gay? And then that bitch dumb. Like, she's just dumb. She cool for you for clout and money, but allowing, allowing you to disrespect your kids in front of her. She weird. Why? Because I'm going to go to jail for mine. You hear me? Let you play it by Virginia, nigga. I'm going to jail for mine. I don't care if I don't clout no money. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey. Okay, look. Hey, Krishan. I know. Instead of resting with this baby, this is what they're doing. Just going back and forth. It's ridiculous. So there's another one. I'm going to watch this. <clears throat> I to the world and said that I planned this without you. I planned shit without you, bro. And then you say you're going to take my kid away from me, bro. I swear to God, blue face, nigga, I will fucking kill you, bro. But you're not about to take my kid away from me, bro. But you're not about to hurt me, bro. You're not about to hurt me, bro. You're trying to lie and say all this other shit so you can do some evil shit with a loan, nigga. You're not watching my kids. Your kids is not meeting them other kids. That shit is not healthy, nigga. All that shit over there is demonic as fuck, man. Nigga, I don't care about what nobody say, bro. And I'm not crying because I wanted you to come support Junior and all this other shit. I am crying because you're lying. I'm crying because... Swear to God, that's all I got to say. You made it about a nigga. Yeah, I don't even need nothing for it. I don't even need nothing for it. Boy, he good, he good over here. Y'all got love, support, he got me, my nigga. We got each other. But I'm not gonna deal with no fucking weird ass pimp crit nigga from LA. And then I'm, I'm explaining to this nigga, I'm like, yo, you telling everybody that I planned this without you when it was crazy how you was two hours away, nobody playing shit without you. I didn't even know I was gonna go in labor, bro. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You made it about fucking little baby, bro. The fuck? This not little baby, baby. What the fuck is your fucking child, bro? And nobody was going with a nigga. I was going with a bitch. That's just sad. It's just sad. Um, let me see. I think we saw this one. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. 
it's like just the addiction to just sit online and sit on live. So then they just kept fucking with the girl. Um, let me show y'all this. Jade and Alexis, she then posted a picture of the baby and says, we named him Kanye Jameen Porter. PSA, Krishan, enjoy the baby. Stepmama, stepmommy will see him soon. So just continuing to antagonize, antagonize this girl. And then, let me see here. So here he's like ranting some more about Krishan and him wanting custody. Me realize because I have two kids. I've been into labor rooms. When someone is in labor, it's cool. It's it's out of the blue. No female is planning to go in labor, right? I have two kids. I know this. You can't tell me otherwise. Krishan planned her labor. She didn't coincidentally go to Baltimore and her water broke and she just went somewhere. Krishan flew to Baltimore with a hospital that she already knew she could film at. She flew there medically induced. She let us know before the baby was coming that it was coming. Four weeks before the due date, right? So if your due date is September 23rd, why are you letting us know that the baby's coming a week? A week before September. You letting us know in August. Why do you know that? Why do you think before Kashan goes live and she cries and says that I'm a terrible guy, her makeup's done, her jewelry's on, her nails are done, everything is pre planned. That's the genius part about it. Her fame. Her claim to fame is sympathy. And who's gonna deny that? If it's evident, it's in your face. Right? That's the manipulation. All right, let me come back on the screen. Okay. So this entire situation, like I said, I've had to try to keep up because you know, I was kind of gone last week. Um, I think what bothers me the most about their whole situation is that, you know, we've watched all this play out for the past, what, two years. And now we have a real living, breathing child who is just, be, who's been born into this fuckery. You know, um, the thing that bothers me the most is that postpartum depression is very, very real. And so y'all pick on this girl out through her pregnancy in hopes that she would miscarry and lose the baby and now that the baby's here y'all are still messing with this girl harassing her picking on her you know saying things to get her upset and angry what if you push her over the edge where she decides to take her baby and just god forbid jump off jump off of a bridge with the baby like nobody thinks about things like that you know, but postpartum is real. What if you put in a situation where she feels like, you know, if I can't have them, you can't either. And I hope, you know, I hope that young people who are watching this, because I know this is y'all's generation where everything is on social media, everything is for consumption, nothing is sacred, not even the miracle of birth. This baby, I don't even think is three days old. Just listening to that baby's cry, he sounds like a little kitten, a little bird. His cry hasn't even developed yet. And usually at like two, three days old, they're not really crying. If they're getting fed and rocked and getting attention and, you know, they're just usually sleeping. They usually only wake when they're that young just really to eat. So the fact that he's even trying to cry, he's picking up on her energy and it's bothering him. 
He technically, the only thing he should be doing at three days old is just eating and breastfeeding. And the fact that she's carrying on and screaming and crying and all of this in front of this baby. And then you got the father on the other side of the camera who's instigating all this. Like, this is really disturbing to me. One as a parent, one as somebody, these, they're both, Krishan's young enough to be my daughter. And I've had conversations with, with Krishan when I met her. You know, and I, I always hoped that she wouldn't end up being in a situation where she got pregnant by this guy, but she chose to. She got pregnant multiple times, multiple abortions, decided to have this one, and now you guys are both tied together for life. I don't care if you feel like she's a clout chaser, an attention whore. You chose to be with her. You chose to knock her up. And when it's all said and done, there is a baby here. And the only thing that should be the focus is the child. So I hope all these young people watching this are understanding that this is what you don't want to deal with. And that you should be very, very mindful of who you have children with. Because this is what happens when the mother and the father don't like each other. But now you guys are stuck for 18 years. So this is what I was saying earlier in the stream. While, okay, I get the ratchet music and, you know, it's a vibe. It's, you know, it's just something to turn up to. That music also plants seeds. When Sexy Red is saying, I don't use condoms, just nutting me. And everybody's just talking about, you know, just... Well, what comes from that? STDs or pregnancy? You know, those are the two options that can happen. So it's like you have to be very, very careful. You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're having a baby with somebody. And I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you guys are just out here sport fucking. You know, just having sex for sport. No commitment. No real attachment. And then somebody gets pregnant. And now there's all this hate and animosity. That's not that child's fault. So I just, the whole thing is just really, really, really disturbing to watch this back and forth. Because you, she's already mentally fragile. You can tell, I've always said from day one, she's not all there. And I think it's from the drugs because initially she was all there. She was smart enough to get a track scholarship. She was smart enough to get herself out of Baltimore via sports. It wasn't until she met him and got entangled with him that it was nothing but drinking and getting high day in, day out, day in, day out. So now her brain is damn near fried. And they keep poking at her and picking at her. Somebody who may not be all the way there mentally or stably, you know, mentally stable, I just pray that she doesn't end up hurting that baby or doing something to that baby. I'm not saying that she doesn't love her child and that she doesn't care about the child. But at this point, she's so focused on social media and the views and going live. There's a newborn in the midst of all this. There's a bunch of people there in the labor and delivery room. And, oh, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. We're the same people to help her. To take her phone from her. To say this enough is enough. We don't need to go live. The baby doesn't need a booking. The baby doesn't need an Instagram page. Focus on this child. The fact that the baby is crying at three days old to me is blowing my mind. Because if he's fed and he's changed, the only thing babies do that young literally is sleep. You're surprised when you even see their eyes. Look, oh my God, their eyes are open. Because they're sleeping so much. That's how you know this baby's in nothing but chaos. Not only his eyes open, he's crying at three days old. And this was yesterday, so he was only two days old. Like I said, I'm not saying that babies don't cry. But what I'm saying is that they spend the majority of their time when they're that young, one, two days old, literally sleeping and eating and going back to sleep. The fact that he's picking up on her energy and he's cooing and it, that was just, it, I don't know, that was just really sad to me. It was really sad. They both need to grow up at this point. It's just, it's too much. He needs to stop. Um, his mom did finally speak out today. 
And for once, I do slightly, as much as I cannot stand Carlisa, I do agree with her. Because something needs to be said at this point to everybody involved. Including Blueface, the baby mama. It's just, it's too much. So this is what his mom had to say earlier today. Now, Jaden, when you had Journey, I gave you the same respect. I bent over, I kissed your ass. I did all of that for my babies. I got to do the same thing for this baby right here. And I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up talking about my baby. I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up and just love John and stay out of this because this is our family. Unfortunately, John put us in a situation that we all have to accept at this point. Just like your kids, my baby, her kid, my baby, too. Everybody shut the fuck up. Now, Jane, when you had your journey, I guess. So then she goes on to say, Blueface, you're going to have to pick another wife because neither one of these are going to be good for your children. So sorry, it's time to move on, son. Best interest of your children at hand. Your stepmom grabbed your D just for pissing on the floor. You need to be by yourself. Child, it's always some incestual shit with this broad. Um, then she ends up tagging Blueface and the Baby, Krishan Malone Jr. Y'all need to schedule a public meeting location and start focusing because y'all three days behind what he deserves. Jaden can wait in the car with her children until y'all are ready to focus on the most important thing in life. I think at this point, at this point, DSS may end up getting involved. I, all these people are batshit crazy. And the thing that's scary is that now there's a real living, breathing human being that's in the midst of all this. Um, I don't think that she should just meet up with Blueface and hand Blueface the baby. I think there, there needs to be some type of court order. They need to meet in a facility where there's cameras, there's views. At this point, I just, I don't trust it. Jaden Alexis is messy. I would hope she'd do nothing to this baby. I just, I don't trust none of them. My only concern in all this foolishness is that baby. The whole thing is just extremely disturbing. Yeah, they, they need to, this needs to be something court ordered where there's like mediators. I don't trust them meeting in a park with cameras, Zeus Network, and all that nonsense. They need, this needs to be court mandated and mediated because this is insane. I've never seen anything like this. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely tea TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely tea TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.